Your organization flows smoother with Acrobat Sign. And this video is about how you, as an admin, can add users and give them Acrobat Sign product entitlement. First, log into the Adobe Admin Console. You must be either a system administrator, a product administrator, or a product profile administrator. Once you have logged in, navigate to the Acrobat Sign product page, then go to Document Cloud, Acrobat Sign, and then to the Product Profile page. On this page, you can add a user to a product by clicking the Add User button. Here, you can add the email address or name of who you want to add. If this user is already part of your organization account, you will see them displayed, but if not, you will have an option to create a new user. Okay, now that we are here, I need to select the Acrobat Sign product role of this user. Another way to think of this is as the authority level. Once I select the role, we can click Save. Shortly, our new user will be sent an invitation email. Make sure they click Accept Invitation and complete the registration process. Once they finish the registration, they'll be able to log into their Adobe Acrobat Sign account. Okay, that was pretty simple, but I want to go over a few things so you can resolve potential entitlement conflicts. One thing to keep in mind is that each Adobe Acrobat Sign user is identified by a unique email address and can only be identified to one instance at a time. If they are presented with a second entitlement through an organizational license like Acrobat Sign for Enterprise or Acrobat Sign for Business, the user's first instance of Acrobat Sign will prevent the user from accessing Acrobat Sign through your organization's account. You might wonder how to identify if this issue is happening. The easiest way to tell is if they receive any email that looks similar to the examples I have on screen. If your users didn't receive an acceptance email, have them check their spam folder. If after a few minutes they still don't see anything, it's best to remove them as a user and then re-add them. Now, if that doesn't work, there are a couple of things to keep in mind. You should double check that the toggle switch for notify users by email is enabled. You should also verify that your organization is permitting emails from Adobe Acrobat Sign. You can find a list of domains your organization should allow in the link on this page. Another question you might have is how to know if your users are in the correct Adobe Acrobat Sign account. This is a great question. It depends on what they see when they log in. Here are two screenshots. If they see the image on the left, they should be good to go. But if they see something similar to the images on the right, they should reach out to Adobe Acrobat support so they can review the user further. You might be wondering why you would need to disable Acrobat Sign services. One of the reasons is that this can prevent entitlement conflicts. For example, you might want to disable Acrobat Sign services in the CC All apps if you have an Acrobat Sign Enterprise account already and want all Acrobat Sign entitlements to go through a specific entitlement. If you need to disable Sign services in Acrobat products, reach out to your account administrator. Admins have the option to turn off Sign services in the admin console. All they need to do is log into the Adobe Admin Console, go to Products, then Product Profile. Once they're here, they can go to Settings and click on Enable Services. Here, they can disable a product and then click Save. Okay, that covers almost everything you need to add users. Thanks for watching. If you need further help, take a look at the links on this page or reach out to your Adobe implementation partner. They are here to work with you to make sure users are in the correct Adobe Acrobat Sign account, or to help if you have an issue adding a user. Our implementation team can also provide you with a list of users that need to save documents and user account information before they can be added to Adobe Acrobat Sign Enterprise.